How to make a killer presentation? Fact. People can read faster than you can speak. Which means they will read whatever is on that slide before you are able to tell it. So there is no point in you repeating it. Remember, you are the main star of the talk. The presentation is there to support you, not the other way around. The people should listen to you, not read the slides. Truth be told, you're probably doing it wrong. You're using your presentation as a prompter, reading of it like a dummy. Newsflash, people can read by themselves. They don't need you to read it for them. Other people have all the information written on the slides, so they can give it away as handouts. Don't be lazy. Make a specific document for that. Then there are data dumps. If people want you to read, they would buy a book. They don't want to read your text, which you probably copied from somewhere else. The basic rule of making a killer presentation is one idea, one slide. You've got something important to say? Make it stand out. Let it be the sole thing on your slide. When you got another thing to say, break it onto another slide. Don't you listen? I said, break it onto another slide. Better to have 60 straight to the point slides than 20 confusing ones. Next thing, no bullshit. If you have nothing to say, shut up. By that I mean, do not put it into your presentation. Sometimes you will get an extra idea and will want to add to the existing slide because making a new slide would just be too extreme. Now, take a step back and think hard if this extra idea is really necessary to be included. Do not bullshit, get to the point. Use no more than six words because there is no presentation so complex that this rule needs to be broken. If you feel the need to use a punctuation mark, you're doing it wrong. There used to be a guideline that a presentation should not have more than seven words in seven rows. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a paragraph to me. And paragraphs have to be read. Never use bullet points. If your idea has to be broken down into bullet points, then it's not a singular idea anymore, isn't it? You like fancy animations. Here is an idea. Animations distract from content. If you really need them, implement them carefully and in good taste. Another important thing is structure. Let your presentation tell a story. For example, problem, pathway, solution. Problem, solution, reasoning. Anecdote, deeper meaning. Use some color theory, like matching colors. Designers in the audience will be thankful. Most projectors suck. Low contrast and washed colors. Make sure your presentation is visible on all occasions. Use high contrast. Too many fonts are tacky and distasteful. Pick one and stick to it. Also, use good font weight so it is readable from a distance. Use Comic Sans only when appropriate and if, use it ironically. We want less text and more image. People are visual animals. We prefer to see than to read. It's faster. In addition, text influences our logical side. Pictures influence our emotional side. Emotional people are easily influenced by the idea. Never forget, bigger is better. Easier to see in the back. Still remember the one idea, one slide rule? Get this, it also works for images. Only one image per slide. Keep the message straightforward and focused. And again, bigger is better. So the idiots in the back don't have to squint. By the way, get good pictures. No point in showing a picture if it is not worth looking at. Professional quality images will make your presentation stand out. Share your presentation because you care. Because some dummies miss the presentation. Or because it is so awesome and they want to see it again. Feedback. Get some. People tell you how much you suck because that is how you learn. What is more, thank them for it. People gave you time and space to present to them. You should be grateful. So let us conclude with some words of wisdom. John Maida once wrote, Simplicity is about subtracting the obvious and adding the meaningful. Thank you and stay classy.